Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can personalize your desktop to change its appearance. You can change the background image shown on the desktop, the screensaver used, the sound scheme, and more. To personalize the desktop, right-click anywhere within the empty space on the desktop, and then click the Personalize command in the pop-up menu that appears. Alternately, you can click the Appearance and Personalization link within the Control Panel when using the Category view, and then click the Personalization link to display the exact same personalization screen where you can change these desktop settings. Within the Personalization screen in the Control Panel, you can click the Desktop Background hyperlink at the bottom of the window to display the Desktop Background screen. In this screen, you can select a background image for your Windows desktop. You can select a picture location from the Picture Location drop-down to select from the pictures available within the selected location. You can also click the Browse button to open a window that allows you to navigate to a folder that contains the image you want to use as the background. Once you've selected a folder, the images will then be displayed within this screen. You can select the desired image to use for the background by clicking it. You can select multiple pictures to display them as a slideshow if desired. At the bottom of the window, you can use the Picture Position drop-down to select how to position the picture in the desktop background. If you selected multiple pictures, you can use the Change Picture Every drop-down to select how often to change the background image. You can also check the Shuffle checkbox to shuffle the selected images within the slideshow. You can also check the When Using Battery Power Pause the Slideshow to Save Power checkbox to stop the slideshow when the computer is using battery power. After you've made your changes, simply click the Save Changes button to apply the new desktop background and return to the personalization screen or click the Cancel button to discard any changes and return to the personalization screen. In the personalization screen, you can click the color hyperlink at the bottom of the screen to select a color to use for the desktop. This color will be used within the File Explorer window and within the taskbar. In the Color and Appearance screen, click on a color shown to select it as the desktop color. Then use the Color Intensity slider to set the intensity of color selected. If you prefer, you can click the Show Color Mixer drop-down to display a hue, saturation, and brightness slider set that you can use to select your color choice. When you're finished, you can click the Save Changes button to apply the changes to the color scheme and return to the personalization screen, or you can click the Cancel button to discard any changes and then return to the personalization screen. You can click the Sounds hyperlink at the bottom of the personalization screen to open the Sounds tab within the Sound dialog box. You can select a Windows event from the listing shown in the Program Events list and then choose the sound to play for that event from the Sounds drop-down. You can add a custom WAV file to play by clicking the Browse button and then selecting one from the dialog box that appears. 
After customizing the default sound scheme, you can click the Save As button to open a Save Scheme As dialog box where you can type a name for your custom sound scheme. You can then switch between sound schemes that are available by making a choice from the Sound Scheme drop-down. Click the OK button when you're finished here to save your changes or click the Cancel button to discard your changes. Either way, you will then be returned to the Personalization screen. You can click the Screen Saver hyperlink at the bottom of the Personalization screen to open the Screen Saver Settings dialog box. A screen saver is an animation that is displayed on screen after a period of inaction occurs so that the desktop image will not be burned into the monitor due to its constant unchanging display. Within this dialog box, use the Screen Saver drop-down to pick the screen saver to use and then click the adjacent Preview button to see how it will appear. When previewing the screen saver, note that you can press the Escape key on your keyboard or move your mouse pointer to stop the preview. The screen saver that's currently selected can also be adjusted by clicking the Settings button. However, depending on the screen saver selected, the options of what settings you can change, if any, will vary. Make any selections you would like within the Settings dialog box that appears, and then click the OK button to return to the Screen Saver Settings dialog box. Then, in the Wait box, you can enter the number of minutes that the computer should be inactive before the Screen Saver starts. If the check box for On Resume Display Log On Screen is selected, the user's login password will be required to return to the desktop after the screen saver has been activated. Once you've finished setting the screen saver, you can then click the OK button within the Screen Saver Settings dialog box to save your changes or click the Cancel button to discard your changes. When you are finished using the personalized screen within the control panel, you can close the control panel by clicking the X in the upper right corner of the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.